All right, guys, we're getting loaded up because we're going to go on an adventure tomorrow and meet up with some really cool people um, that are doing another project right now I think you guys might enjoy. So I'm going to get this van loaded up, and uh, we're going to head out first thing in the morning. So we'll see you then. So we're headed out on our way down to uh, Uari, and uh, it's kind of weird with, uh, I don't know, I'm like the only vehicle on this side of interstate that I can see forward or behind me. I could actually get used to having a little bit less traffic. I don't mind that at all. Not their store. Hey, baby. Today we're down here near Uwari and we are with the Overlander Project and the Adventure Summit Uwari event. Uh, they're setting up some promotional material for that event today. Uh, so you'll get to see some pretty cool stuff before it actually happens. But you should look into the Adventure Summit. That'll be happening about a week before Overland Expo East. And it's really cool because there's going to be waypoints set up. You'll be able to go through some different uh, trails and stuff like that. So it'll be a fun event to hit up before you go to Overland Expo East. Um, I'll leave some uh, description of that event and some information in the comments. Stay tuned, we got a cool show for you. So this is all we can get out of the old Van Lander. Not much, but I guess it'll do for now. Say hey. Well, we made it to the campsite. It's kind of a pretty cool place. Uh, everybody's actually out hitting a trail right now but as you can see everybody's got their site set up over here these guys from adventure summit are trying to get the trip planned uh, for that event uh, which path they're going to take but it's going to be pretty cool you can see one of them's got an adventure bike solo tents and the wind is blowing just enough to keep it cool out here. I chose that spot over here for the moment just to keep storm out of the heat. It's got a little bit of shade. That's a cool spot.
right, so we're gonna walk over here and talk to John with this sweet rig right here. I mean, this thing is insane. We've got a 7.3 E350 with a military trailer. This thing is sick. So we're gonna do a walk around on that bad boy. All right, everybody, I'm with John Eller from the Overlander Project. Hey, guys. So we're gonna go over, I do a little quick walk around of his sweet rig with a sweet trailer and sweet sandals. Look at these sandals, my Chacos. goodness. Chacos. Chacos. I don't so know yeah. about sweet, it's old. It's a 98 <laughs> model. Yeah? It's a E350. Uh-huh. It's got a 7.3 liter diesel engine. It's got a U-joint uh, four wheel drive conversion. Mm -hmm. Dana 60 front axle. Right on. Uh, 35 inch BF Goodrich. Uh, KM3 mud trains. Mm -hmm. The van was white. You can see right here. It was white. We put a wrap on it. This is like a decal. Nice. Gray. Got some dents on it today. Oh. Road over at Grand Overland. Nice. A little trail cred for it. Uh, Illuminous. Tire. Spare tire rack trailer it's nothing special but it's it's pretty cool it's we very cool dora because it's like a backpack dora the explorer yeah we got some fuel cans we got gasoline for the generator we got mm -hmm. some diesel fuel for the van extra water we got <clears throat> some batteries in there mm -hmm. and we bought the topper it had like a ladder rack works perfect for our boats because nice. we can't put them on the roof of the van a little arb awning we only get that out when we need to. Right. This is like uh, like the bar. <laughs> got some snacks, liquors, gin, vodka, whatever. It's got to load it down. Yeah, that's our favorite spot. Some more stuff in here, our medical kit. We've got a sat phone in there. Um, do you really like having the option of having a trailer? I do is like that, it. It works yeah. good for us. Right. Because I can uh, set up camp. And uh -huh. then if we take the van wheeling, the trailer can just be like the base camp. Yeah. And I've always towed a trailer, so it's not like a big deal. We just we took it out to Mexico, Faja, last summer. Mm-hmm. Almost 8,000 miles. And uh, that's the best thing for us. Like, we don't need a rooftop tent. Right. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, one of the benefits of having a van, you can just slide inside yeah. and sleep, right? Yeah. And then we've got like a, a tank in there. It's got 23 or 27 gallons. I can't remember. Oh, wow. Water. That's our shower. Like a pump sprayer pump? Yeah, it's exactly what it is. Wow. And yeah. then we keep whatever. We got totes full of spare parts, belts, fuel pumps, mm -hmm. calipers. Um, everybody's got to have the shovel and the axe. Of course. We got our little generator in there. And then this side we use for tools. We got, you know, the cordless drills all that stuff right um so i mean you're pretty much self-contained here well you never have everything you need but <laughs> like maybe an air pump for your tires or right. something this is an old m101 military trailer yep and we swapped out the rear axle so it would match the uh the lug pattern on the van the eight on 170. oh yeah we like it nothing's been done to the van it's an old conversion van so you haven't started on the interior yet? No, I don't know that we will. It's mm -hmm. like, it looks like it's from the 70s, but it's... But it's, it's late functional. 90s, yeah. All right? It's that green really... Oh, the green is... That's yeah. legit. It puts you in touch with nature, mm -hmm. you know? Those uh, rear captain's chairs, they snap out. Like yeah. you can put coolers in there. How about that sound system? You see it? Man, that is... We need to get a close-up of that. Yeah, look at that. We're talking AudioVox vintage legit right here zoom in on we got a little uh, cathode ray tube up there we got <laughs> we got a tape player man and we yeah. even got we even got a vhs in this yo what? and then look at that wood you know some old fella mm. that spent weeks on that wood yeah somebody kept it in good shape though man mm -hmm. for real good well, i may is. really honestly take out the carpet and put some of that yeah vinyl floor that looks like hardwood just so you could just spray it off Wash yeah, it out real quick, like clean. Yeah, yeah, super nice rig. It's an awesome van. It goes really well off road. 
Mm -hmm. And y'all can see that from the trail candy on the side of the wrap. You see that there? John uses this. Man, you're you're just about every weekend, almost. Yeah. You're out doing some type of. I like uh, the overlanding. Off this thing does. Mm -hmm. It's pretty. Does well at that. Yeah. It's the van's nothing special. The driver seat's all trashed. Um. We'll get to that. When yeah. We, when we slow down, if that if that ever happens. I like to tell everybody to go use it first, and then you figure out what you need. Yeah. You know, and then modify it from there. Right, and I did. I bought the the least expensive wheels that worked, you know, mm -hmm. offset wise, because I knew I'd just trash them in the rocks. Right, and that's what's happened. Looks that's like that's about it, man. You got some pulling power on the front. I see. Yeah, it's got a twelve thousand pound worn winch. Um, that bumper's off like a mid nineties Ford F two fifty. We just put it on the van. Nice. Man, thanks for. Man, I appreciate and, you letting us uh, yeah. take a little wig rock, rock. What am I trying to say? Walk around, yeah. <laughs> a, a rig walk around. Roger that. Um, super sweet vehicle. We're down at Uari. Yep, we're at Uari right now. You guys need to look up uh, the Overland Project when you get a chance. That's uh, we'll go over another video of that. But this is one cool rig. Thank you, sir. Thank you. So thirsty. Oh my God. What should I do? just awful so go ahead and get you a big dog come summertime you get to do this too I don't know who's more excited me or you Mm. Pop was on the ground. Hmm. Well, oh. You see the way it creates that vacuum and pulls that fresh air through? Yeah, it's supposed to be like smokeless. Mm hmm. I still smelled like smoke yeah, last night because that big one. <laughs> that was in my bed. I was like, I stink. All right, guys, that's, we're going to call that a wrap. I appreciate you tuning in to another episode of The Bandlander. Be sure to subscribe and hit that like button. And we'll see you on the next episode.